Hi, my Aries and Aries Rising friends. Sandra from ForYourChi.com here. We're here today to do your sixth house reading for your January of 2022. Thank you so much for being here with me on YouTube. The houses 7 through 12 will be contained in the extended reading on Patreon. You can follow me in the links below if you want to go there. Now, we're going to look at your first house and by the way if you haven't seen the 2022 readings for your sign I would highly encourage that especially when I look at these cards here I normally don't shuffle here on camera because I feel like it's a waste of time but we're going to do it right now because I forgot to pull who's in your seventh house as far as relationships go okay we've got that done all right your first house is you reminiscent of times past. You are the third out of six so far zodiac signs to be reminiscing of times past. You know, you could be thinking of when things in general were a lot more fun, like going to concerts or parties or um, when your relationship was more fun or Venus is retrograde, you could be thinking of an ex or they could send you a message out of the blue. I'm having that message come to me more often than not right now and especially this week. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer is interesting here. So you going back in memories lane here you may be pulling back from a certain person or situation and just kind of feeling it out. But if it's a person that you're thinking about, then you are being given the guidance right now to reach out to them and extend an offer. This could also mean an apology. It's not going to be for everyone. But if that speaks to you, then you know who you are and what you need to do here. Okay. Now, we did pull for Aries the financial pinch in the month of January. It could be that you have spent too much on holiday gifts and now there's some sort of regret or perhaps you have had an unforeseen expense happen and you have to drop everything and pay for that, right? Or it could mean that some of you did not receive what you were supposed to receive, a check, a bonus, uh, someone paying you back, something like that. Now this, and Pisces pulled a similar message in this house, not with this card in the second house, but with this card in the second house, which talks about giving birth to new opportunities and new ideas. So if the Aries is not doing everything that they're supposed to be doing in order to bring home the bacon then this pinch is for a reason because it's leading you in another direction to do something that brings that you love this is going to be something that is a lot of passion for Aries right because sometimes as Abraham says the contrast leads to a birth of another rocket of desire, okay? So that's the reason for the pinch for those of you Aries that are feeling that pinch right now. The third house represents brother or sister, your sibling. They have multiple opportunities of where to go and what to do right now in their life. This could be relationship-wise or job-wise or it could be just in life in general. However, you can't say yes to every opportunity and have it all work out and be hunky-dory. They have to be very selective in who they tell yes right now and what situations they're saying yes to. What is the advice card? They are getting a message or a visitation from a deceased loved one. Pay attention to their dreams right now. You may have to be the Aries that relays this message to your sibling. If they dream about someone who has passed, pay attention to what they're saying in a dream. It is not a dream in this instance. It is a message. It is a visitation. Okay. And that actually they might even be giving directions from this deceased loved one 
that has passed on in the direction that they're supposed to go. So pay attention to those details there. Your fourth house, your house of home, it says avoid arguments in the home right now. You could also have a, because it is the holidays, you could have a visitor who stays longer than anticipated, which is causing you some grief, okay? Now, you did pull children here, so you might have extra children in or around your home right now. They could be staying longer than anticipated and causing some rubs in your house, what is your fifth house? Okay, fifth house, for those of you single Aries, rules your dating life. For those of you who are dating, if you're coupled or not wanting to date, then this is talking about your social circle, your friendships, your networking. You have suffering in silence. This tells me that you're doing all the hard work by yourself. However, there is help available to you. You just need to reach out and request it. You have Azure, which says your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and try not to force it to happen. That's going to be very important for Aries who are dating. You don't want to force anyone to do anything in a dating situation. Okay? Just let it happen. Now, we have a very, very important message in the sixth house. Sixth house rules out of all the cards and even the extended reading. This is going to be the most important one that you're going to want to pay attention to. You pulled the falling tower in your sixth house of work and health. For some of you, this could be a physical symptom that you are experiencing. If you are experiencing physical sy symptoms, then seek medical attention right away. Do not wait. Go right away. Okay? That's only for some of you. For others of you, this is going to be a work issue where you feel like the work has uh, something about your job has been, the rug has been ripped out from underneath you. Okay? Now... You did pull Athena here, which talks about, yes, you are powerful. Let me just say this. If you are feeling angered or frustrated at your job, and you can just feel it building, right? It's going to be important for you, Aries, to take a break. Take five minutes out. And you don't have to tell her, you know, you can just say, hey, I need to use the restroom and remove yourself from the situation. If it's a Zoom meeting, if it's a phone call, whatever it is, and just take a breather. You can go to your phone. You can listen to relaxing and uplifting music. You can do deep breathing exercise. You, I, you Exercises, you can run up and down the stairs in the stairwell. It doesn't matter what you do, but you have to calm it down. Because if you don't calm it down, what they're saying is you could blow your stack and cause the tower to collapse where it could have been avoided, okay? Now, that's not for everyone. That's only for some of you. For others of you, this could be a situation where it has to crumble because there is another opportunity that's better for you and you are supposed to be elsewhere, so sometimes this is actually divine. It's divinely orchestrated. Okay, now that's it for your six houses. We're going to be going into the extended reading in just a moment where I'm going to look at your relationship, your intimate life, which looks pretty good, if you ask me. Um, your trips. This is any vacation you want to take or you want to book in January. Your school, for those of you that are in school. Your career. Your mother. Your children. And the future card, which shows up in about three months from now, around your birthday. But first, we're going to look at the zodiac signs that showed up for you in your love life. We have two sword cards, which, in, which indicates an air sign or someone who has strong air in their chart. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You also pulled, what do we have here? Ooh, the Four of Cups. 
That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, so if you want to follow me into the extended, I'll see you in the description box below. Many blessings to all my Aries friends.